What is addiction? Anything that, that starts to overtake and starts to uh, supplant the, the things that make you you. Um, a party in a hotel and the kids thought they were taking you know, something else and it turned out to be fentanyl and everybody in the room died that night. Uh, alcohol was tragic, trauma, turmoil. Um, we ended up having our daughter and my husband was on the first floor in detox while I was giving birth to my daughter Delilah on the third floor. He did, he um, continued to take it and ended up overdosing. And it was the whole mixture of heroin and cocaine that actually killed him. So I lost him at the age of 22. And it's been having to live my life with a hole in my heart that will never be filled again. What would you say to someone who is currently struggling right now? That they're not alone. There is no perfect family. There is no um, perfect child. There's so much help out there. You're not alone. Just like let them know that they're not alone. I would say you're not alone. Friends, family, loved ones, support groups, people you may not even know that are there for you and want to help you get through this. This is not a poor person's disease. This is not a dumb person's disease. This is not an intellectual's disease. This is a human disease. And it is so important to recognize that you're not alone and you're not isolated. There is hope out there. Uh, there's, we all go through difficult times. We all have our ups and downs, that's life. Reach out to either the Tennessee Red Line or call the National Hotline at 988. Um, and they can provide you resources. They can help talk you through whatever situation you are in and point you in the right direction so you can get the treatment that you need. As a parent with a child that may be struggling with addiction, I just want you to know that you're absolutely not alone. The person next to you is struggling with something too. And to know that you're truly not alone. Anybody that's suffering with uh, mental health, addiction, you are not alone. There's so many people that are struggling with the same things. And I want you to know that you are not alone and that there is hope. To find someone that you're really comfortable with and just start that conversation and just don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is tough. Asking for help is such a strong thing to do because the person you're asking for help from is gonna need help at some point as well.